study the following topics in this video. Number one, osmosis. Number two, water potential. Number three, solute potential. Number four, osmotic potential. And number five, osmotic pressure. These topics will be studied with definitions along with explanations and diagrams. Osmosis Osmosis is the movement of water molecules across semi-permeable membrane. The other terms used for semi-permeable membrane is also selective permeable membrane. or partially permeable membrane. So, movement of water molecules across semi-permeable membrane from high concentration of solvent or from hypotonic solution where there is low concentration of solute to low concentration of solvent or hypertonic solution when there is high concentration of solute. Water potential is the concept of water concentration in a system and it is also defined as the difference of total kinetic energy of water molecules between two mediums The water potential of pure water is always taken as zero. The water potential drops when impurities such as solute is added into it. The water potential of the solution is taken as negative value because it has low water potential. Consider there are two beakers A and B both having 200 free molecules of water. Then water potential by concentration of water molecules is taken as zero. And water potential by total kinetic energy of the systems both containers are having 100 kilojoule energy, so that is zero. Solute potential is defined as the amount of solute in solution, and it has inverse proportion to water potential. It means that if solute potential is great, means greater the concentration of solute in the solution, the smaller will be the value of water potential or water molecules concentration. Osmotic potential. Osmotic potential is the tendency of solution to attract the free water molecules close the membrane and we know that that is semi-permeable membrane. Osmotic potential has inverse proportion to water potential but it has direct proportion to solute potential means greater the solute potential greater will be osmotic potential. Osmotic pressure It is the pressure exerted by pure water on solution across the membrane means across the semi-permeable membrane to keep the solution in equilibrium means in balanced condition It has inverse proportion to water potential
it has direct proportion to solute and osmotic potential. There are two beakers, each containing 2000 molecules of water. Let's assume we add 500 molecules of solute in beaker B. They form intermolecular bond with 500 molecules of water. This results in decrease of water potential. Thus water potential drops and solute potential increases. Beaker A is at higher concentration and having 2000 molecules of water. Beaker A exerts pressure on beaker B to bring it in equilibrium. And this pressure is called osmotic pressure. Since beaker B requires 250 molecules to come in equilibrium with beaker A, the demand of making 250 molecules is called osmotic potential, which is given by beaker A. So beaker B is having 1500 free water molecules, which combined with 250 molecules given by beaker A and comes in equilibrium with beaker A.